That moth is just enormous, isn't it? Yep, and it's super rare. Hello everyone, this is Bart Coppens with another moth video. But today's moth is no ordinary species and this is no ordinary video. This is Archaeo Atacus malayanus, a species that is almost never raised in captivity. And it's also very rare, difficult to obtain both in the wild and both in captivity. And it's been an absolute privilege to film the life cycle of this insect. Let me tell you something about this moth. Hello everyone. This is Bart Coppens, the king of moths on social media. Also known as the sexy moth king. That's right. People gave me that name, okay? I didn't give it to myself. I took it from the comments a long time ago. Today I am here with uh, a stunningly rare moth species. Oh, and unfortunately the wind is ruining my shot for a second. So what are you guys looking at? This right here is an Archaeo Atacus species. Now in case you're wondering what is an Archaeo Atacus, it's basically almost like an atlas moth, but believe it or not it's in a different genus. Some of you know, know the genus Atacus, like Atacus atlas, which is the classic atlas moth. Some of you know the Hercules moth or Koskinokea from Papua and Australia. But there's uh, also another genus of very, very, very big atlas-like moths, which is the genus Archaeoatacus, Archaeoatacus. And it contains three species, Edwardsi, from the Himalayan region, such as northeastern India, Nepal, Bhutan and China. And there's a second species, which is the one that I'm holding right now, the Malayanus, which is uh, non-Himalayan. The difference between this species and uh, Archaeoatacus edwardsi is the fact that edwardsi is purely Himalayan. And Malayanus, the one you're looking at right now, is not. Currently, you're looking at Archaeoatacus Malayanus, which is found in China and the Yunnan region, in Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, northern Vietnam, southern Laos, Malaysia and some of the surrounding countries. And finally, there's a third species out there too. Archaeotacus staudingerini. Staudingi. I don't know how to pronounce that. Which is found in Java, in the Malay Peninsula, the Borneo, Sumatra, parts of Malaysia too. Now, you're wondering what makes them different from real atlas moth, what makes the genus Archaeoatacus and the genus Atacus uh, distinct. First of all, there is the fact that um, Archaeoatacus tend to be higher altitude, while atlas moths tend to be medium or lower altitude. And uh, Archaeoatacus are more adapted to colder temperatures. Yeah, so basically this is almost like a highland version of an atlas moth. It wouldn't be totally incorrect to say that. Uh, that being said, morphologically they are distinct. Also the colors, the wing patterns are different than in Atakas, but more importantly, even the morphology of the caterpillars is different if you look at the arrangement of the spines. The arrangement of the spines is a study now, uh, called uh, Ketotaxi. And it shows that in every way they are distinct. So basically these are very fancy and rare. <laughs> A rare and fancy spin-off of the Atlas moths that evolved to live on higher, on higher altitudes in the mountains. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've been raising the caterpillars behind the scenes. Uh, I have to say it was not easy. The species was difficult to raise for me. To me, it seems like they like uh, cooler temperatures. They also like to be dry, but with the occasional spraying so the caterpillars can drink. Uh, yeah. 
definitely more kind of ventilated dry conditions with uh, occasional mistings. I've raced more difficult species, but this was definitely a challenging one. And I hope you guys can enjoy it as much as me, the fact that we are holding this legendary creature here. On YouTube, I don't think you're going to see these on any other channel very much. So, <clears throat> if you want to see the rarest moths in the world, you better subscribe to my channel. Because <laughs> uh, there's no other YouTubers that uh, are able to raise and film the diversity of species that, that I can raise and film. So, and by that we are beating the competition, aren't we? Absolutely amazing. Hope to see you in the next video. You gotta love its golden colors. Oh, gosh, it's amazing.